thanks for coming over for our first ever chick flick night. So, what are we watching? Resident Evil. I don't think this is a chick flick. Snakes on a plane. Must be a nature documentary. yeah, These are the ones that my hubby borrowed. He must have taken mine to his buddy's house by mistake. He likes war movies too. Saving Private Ryan. Letters from Iwo Jima. Oh, how about this one? An officer and a gentleman. Richard Gere. Huh? Looks like a chick flick. I love old movies. And young Richard Gere. Your husband is an officer in the army, right? So, is this what being an officer is like? So romantic. I wish this is only a movie. So, what do officers do in real life? Don't they just do office work? Actually, I'm not sure. I could ask my hubby. Or we could... So ladies, you've just seen the ceremonial hall and this is a sacred place for the officers because of the many symbols that represents the officer corps. Mm. Well, my husband's an officer, but I'm not really sure what he does in the army. In the army, there are three corps. The officer corps, the warrants officer corps, and the military expert corps. So the officers, uh, specifically the commissioned officers, are different from the non-officers because of the commission that they hold. And this commission represents the authority that's vested in them by the state to do certain things like commanding troops. Oh, do all officers command troops then? Officers start off usually commanding a platoon, which is about 20 to 30 men. And uh, over the course of their career, they would move on to command larger units. But an officer does not command troops all the time throughout his career. If an officer is not in command, what does he do? If an officer is not in command, he would usually be holding staff appointments or instructor appointments. And by staff appointment, um, I'm referring to things like policy planning, policy implementation and resource management, and so on and so forth. But uh, no matter what an officer does, he is expected to be a leader and thinker in the organisation. How are the officers chosen? What are the qualities you look for? Now, the SF uses a set of criteria to choose the personnel uh, for officer training. And a significant portion of this criteria is the performance in basic military training, or BMT for short. After they are selected for officer cadet training, they will come to Officer Cadet School where they will train for nine months and if they complete the training successfully, then they will commission as new officers of the organisation. Oh, so for nine months, what do they learn in the nine months? In OCS, they learn a wide variety of things. We start off progressively, we train them first in the weapons that they're going to handle as a platoon commander. Mm -hmm. Then we train them to command a section, which is seven men. And in a platoon, there are three sections. So we start off as a component of the platoon. And then finally, we train them to command the platoon itself. Now, an officer also has to be a role model. So he has to be physically fit, and his character has to be beyond reproach. And on top of that, they have to study as well for subjects like military law and military doctrine. When an officer is first commissioned, what rank does he start off with? A newly commissioned officer holds the rank of a second lieutenant, which is represented by a single black bar. And then moving up the ranks, uh, you have the full lieutenant, represented by two black bars, followed by captain, represented by three black bars. A major is represented by a single crest, followed by a lieutenant colonel, represented by two crests. And then finally, a full colonel, represented by three crests. Uh, moving on, we have the general ranks, one star represents a Brigadier General, mm -hmm. two stars, a Major General, and three stars, a uh, Lieutenant General. Oh. So my hubby is a Major one crest. In the Navy, instead of Generals, we have Admirals. Oh. So how do the other soldiers address an officer? There are two ways to address an officer. You either address him by uh, the rank and name. So for example, Major Tan. Mm -hmm. Or you can just address him generally as Sir. Right. To pay compliments to an officer as a mark of respect, mm. soldiers will do the salute oh. like, this. Hey, okay. like this. Can you show us how to do a salute properly? To do a salute, bring up your arm and make sure that your hand is aligned with your forearm. Now keep your fingers closed, just like this, all right, including your thumb, and direct your palm towards the ground. 
So not towards the person, but to the ground. Now bring out your arm and make sure that the rest of your arm is at right angles to your body and keep your entire arm flushed uh, in the same plane as the front of your body. So not too front, not too back, but just in line with your body. Just like that. Looking good, ladies. Looking good. Now keep it there. Keep it there. Now once an officer returns the salute, now you can finish off the salute by bringing down your arm in the shortest possible way. So like this. Simple. Great. You guys got it. Hey. That officer was such a nice guy. He's such a gentleman. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that there were so many officer ranks. So... Can your husband become a general one day? I'm not sure about that. Hmm. When did he become a major? I don't know. Can he get promoted from a major to a general? I don't know. Hmm. How come you don't know anything about your husband? I know one thing. Huh? My hubby may not be as romantic or as handsome as Richard Gere, but he's an officer and a gentleman, and I'm proud of him. 